Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up an Asus wireless Wi-Fi router from start to finish. And even if it's not the exact same model that I have, it's gonna be a similar process either way. So what you wanna do is first, taking a look at the back here, we wanna plug in our ethernet cord to the port that has the little globe over it. And that's the one that's coming from the modem that you got from your ISP. So my internet service provider set up this modem and it's plugged in to the output right here. And these are usually blue. Unplugging that and looking in there, you can see that it's blue. And then same on this side, you can see that this ethernet port is blue as well. So that's gonna be coming from the modem that we have from our internet service provider. We also wanna power on our router and one side of the power cord is plugged in here with the power switch turned on. And the other side is of course plugged into the wall so that we can get power. Now the other two ethernet cables that I have plugged in directly here to the back, there's four additional ethernet cable ports. One of those is going to this PC right here and I also have a PC downstairs that's also directly plugged in over ethernet. So you can do a direct line, but we're also gonna have the ability to get that internet over Wi-Fi as well. And you can see we have a lot of these wireless antennas to send out that signal. So once we have everything plugged in, hooked up and ready to go, the next thing is gonna be going to a smartphone device, for instance, and going to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And we're gonna be downloading the Asus router application. So I'm gonna take you over to my phone to walk you through those steps. Over on a smartphone device, we're gonna need the Asus router application, and you can download and install this through the Google Play Store if you're on an Android device or the Apple App Store if you're on an Apple device. We search for the Asus router application. Once we find it, we're gonna download and install it. And once that's done, then we can open it right here from the download page, or we can open it. It should pop up as an icon on one of the home pages of our smartphone device. So we could open it there as well. And once we open up the Asus router application, it's gonna take us to this setup page. So what we wanna do is if we're setting up a new router, we're gonna click this plus icon where the setup button is. Now in the past, if you've already bound an Asus router to an account, you might already have it set up and ready to go. But this is the first time that I'm setting up an Asus router. So I'm gonna bound this with a Google account. So I'm gonna select the Google option. You can also do this with some additional options that they have if you'd like to look into those. But again, like I said, I'm gonna be setting this up with a Google account. Then I need to select which Google account that I would like to use. So selecting my Google account. And the application wants additional access to my Google account, so I'm going to allow this and click continue. And once it successfully logs into your account, it should take you back to the Asus router setup page. It should have your account information right here, and it also says that this account has not been bound to the router. Please perform initial settings for management. This isn't a big deal. We'll set up this account as we work our way through the setup process. So what we want to do is click set up a new router. And then you're gonna choose what kind of router that you have. For me, it's gonna be this top option right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's asking for the location app permissions. And it's asking for this so that it can discover my nearby Asus device. And I want it to be able to do this. So I'm gonna click okay. And after searching for it, it was able to find my Asus router. So I can select that right here. And the Asus router app wants to use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect to your device. So we want to allow this, so click connect. And while it's connecting, it says, make sure you have connected the modem to your router's WAN port. And this is what I showed you earlier in the video when I was plugging the ethernet cord into the blue inputs on both the modem for my ISP and our Asus router. So if we've done that correctly, this should work without an issue. So it finds my device right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is click where it says, get started. It'll detect your internet connection status. And then it'll take us over to this page where it wants us to create our Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna personalize our Wi-Fi network name as well as password. And my wireless router has 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz and six gigahertz network. So I can create a name and password for each of these. And to make it easy, I'm gonna have the password the same for all of these different networks. And I'm gonna name them pretty similar things. So I have Asus 22, Asus 22 5G, and Asus 22 6G as the names for these different Wi-Fi networks. And again, my passwords are all the same between them. So then the next thing is clicking next here at the bottom once you have those names and passwords set up. Then we're gonna set up a login account. So we're setting up the Asus router's admin username and password. So enter in a username for your admin, as well as a password, confirm that password, and then click apply. 
and then it's going to apply these settings while it's setting up our network. And now it wants me to open up my mobile device's wireless settings and then find and connect to the Asus router SSID and I named it Asus 22 so that's what I'm going to be looking for. And then after I successfully connect to the SSID I'm going to return it to the Asus router app. So going into my Wi-Fi settings and with my phone I'm going to connect to the Asus 22 5G connection. Then of course typing in that password that I had set and then click connect. And then as long as you enter in that password correctly, it should be able to connect it to your wireless router. And going back into the Asus router application, it's going to search for the Asus router. And since we successfully connected, it's going to connect up with that wireless Wi-Fi router signal, and it's going to do a network optimization. And after it checks to make sure everything is working properly, it takes us to this page where it says we have a good connection, your network is operating perfectly. And then it also has the Wi-Fi name and password to all of our connection options, as well as the username and password for our admin account for our router. I recommend writing down this information and then storing it in a safe area so that if you forget it, you have the information easily available to you. And then we can click finish at the bottom. Then that takes us to the home page of the app and it's giving us a notice here for notification service. We can read over this and if it looks good to you, we're going to click agree at the bottom. Then it's asking to bind my account with my router. So I have my Asus router right here, my Google account, and it's asking to bind these. So you can read over and agree to the Asus notice and then click accept to bind your account. And after binding our account, we're set up and ready to go back to the homepage of the Asus router application. You might get some additional options such as being able to change the color of your Asus router. So initially mine was red, but I changed it to kind of a blue purple, which looks nice. And if you want, you can play around looking in some of these different tabs, checking on your devices that are hooked up, for instance. But at this point, we're set up and ready to go. And if you click on this little throttle icon up here, you have the option to select an application that you would like to prioritize on your wireless router. So if you'd like to do that, you can select that option here. But that'll finish this one off. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.